Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup slash beauty haul. I have a bunch of stuff from a lot of different places. I figured I could just put everything and throw everything together in one video. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get started because there are a few things that I have to share with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the drugstore version. Okay, I have a little drugstore, I have a little high end. So that's just what we're gonna work with right now. Uh, first off, I got this Sires Professional Hair Dye. This is in black, blue, blue, black. I like to do this. Uh, my hair is pretty dark, but it is not really brown, not really black. So I decided it's just gonna be black, blue. And I figured, uh, I found out that the blue, black, black blue however you want to call it it's just way darker than the regular black so this one normally go with their version this is pretty good it's not that expensive and i think it gets the job done next i got those two sheet masks from garnier now i have one that is is both the hydra it's like for hydration and stuff like that i got the blue one and the green one i never tried them before so i'm just gonna try them out but i just like the convenience of sheet masks i feel like you don't really have to put anything on and take anything off you just lay them on your face chill after 15 minutes take them off and just massage the rest into the skin and you're done so that's why i normally go with those got some more face masks some you can just put on and take off this one is also from Garnier I didn't know that they had those masks so I just wanted to give them a try and this one is from Louvre's it's like a um, healing earth type of stuff which is really really good if you have any blemishes or breakouts or whatever it's really really good like if you have issues with that and you find something like that you should definitely do this basically like a mud mask I would say next I have this charcoal no strips and these are from Balea. They were extremely inexpensive. I never tried them out. I really wanted to try them out. That's why I got them and I'm gonna keep you guys posted if I actually like those or if I don't. Next, I got this Bior Charcoal Facial Cleanser. Now I heard, I think uh, Juicy Y, yeah, so I don't know how you call her name basically, but I heard her talking about this and she was raving about the saying that this was like the best facial cleanser ever. So when I saw this, I just had to pick it up and just see what all the fuss was about all right and last but not least i picked up these adele demi wispies i think everyone knows them by now i feel like they are your lashes but just on steroids if you know what i'm trying to say um i really needed some that i could wear every day because i'm not down with wearing like dramatic i, I mean i am down with wearing them every day but i kind of feel like not everyone is okay with that if you just like bam in the, in your face type of lashes so i wanted something that was more natural especially for the summertime and yeah those are just like my always go back to lashes if i'm trying to go for something natural all right that was it for the drugstore drugstore i also had some ColourPop items that i picked up uh actually like a couple of months ago and i wanted to do a haul but i kind of never got to it so i thought i was just gonna throw them into this haul right here i got the ColourPop ultra satin lip in the color barracuda which is this color right here i'm actually gonna swatch it for you guys so you can tell and i just thought that there was like a nudish a nude deep rose color for the summertime i just figured like it was a very pretty color and i have to say like the ultra satin lips are like my favorite of ColourPop because i feel like they don't dry down completely so they don't make your lips feel all cracky and stuff now the lasting power is not the greatest but come on people like you pay six dollars for one so you can't really expect the world out of them but i don't really mind re uh, reapplying them so yeah i really like this color so then i got this liquid lipstick type of set these came in a set of five um they come in the colors magic wand mess around stud two lips and dopey now i gave one away to a girlfriend of mine because it was too light for my skin tone i personally didn't really like it like that but i kept the other four um they are all four ultra satin lips again i love the formula of these and i wanted to go with the small ones because i wasn't really sure you know like with the nudes for my skin tone i always have to be cautious that they're not too dark not too light so therefore i just wanted to go with the small ones first to see which colors i really really like now i'm actually wearing the color mess around which is a very nice deep cold nude but i think that it I don't know, I just think that it gives like a beautiful modern type of nudish color. This is Mess Around. This one is Tulips. Yeah, this is, I think this is, yeah, this is the deepest brown that it came with. Then next we have, um, oh, this is actually pretty. Stud. 
is this color right here and the last but not least we have dopey now i know that i wore dopey before too yeah that's the lightest shade out of the four that i kept for myself and i figured i could get away with this but just get away with it if you know what i'm trying to say and last but not least i picked up from ColourPop, I picked up the Super Shark Cheek in Highly Wasted. And this is the color. Now, I did use this a few times already. Um, yeah, this is supposed to be a blush, but I personally wanted it as a... Actually, I originally picked it up for as a highlighter. And it will work for a highlighter, but for me, honestly, I'm more about that, like, in-your-face highlighting type of girl. So this was not highlightish enough for me so therefore i used it as an eyeshadow and i really really like it as an eyeshadow it's more of a corally pearly um bronzy type i probably like a mixture between coral and bronze i think when you apply it and it looks just super a glammed off natural look so then we went to our version of sephora again i live over here in europe in germany we don't have a sephora store over here but we have something similar to that that only sells mostly high-end stuff first i picked up this mac prep and prime from the special edition that they just came out with now honestly honestly i mostly got this because of the packaging because the packaging is just so cute now the scent is a coconut this is the bottle this is just so beautiful honestly you can just put this somewhere on your vanity or something and just showcase it you don't even have to use it because it just looks beautiful it smells super nice and again you know this is supposed to be like more like a primer um, but a lot of people also use it just to intensify the eyeshadows or something like that I just want it for whatever even in the summertime if it's too hot for me I just spray a few I just spray a few spritzer on my face and I'm gonna be set beautiful i'm so happy that i actually got my hands on this next i picked up the luminous silk foundation by giorgio armani i'm in the color nine now i will say that over here unfortunately which is so crazy because we have a lot of colored people over here but the color selection is not as big as it is in the states for example so we were kind of struggling to find my skin tone over here um but this foundation actually works it's what i'm wearing right now now if you really want to be extremely accurate it is a tip to light for me right now but it is summertime over here so i'm a few shades darker than i normally get uh, than i'm normally you know in the winter time or fall or whatever so i will be actually able to use this all year round and that was important for me if i choose to wear it in the summertime it's still dark enough to where i can get away with using it with the bronzer and stuff you know but it, even in the winter time i'm going to be able to use this and the finish is just beautiful now i look a little bit you know not too fresh anymore it's because i wore the makeup for a few hours already now but i'm like really in love with this and already the packaging you know how we girls are we just into packaging like crazy and last but not least i did want to finally pick up a highlighter by mac this is the extra dimension skin finish in the color what's the color people oh the color's not on the packaging but this is it right here and i actually thought that i could apply this on camera you know so you guys can see exactly how beaming it is this is in the color beaming blush and oh gosh it's like a rose gold but look at that look at that oh my gosh it's like a rose gold but to be honest with you guys i feel like it's like when you apply it or when you swatch it it looks more goldish but it is so like such a gorgeous gorgeous color i'm using my luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush It's more of a wet highlighter, like it doesn't give you, uh, I think you can probably see it better on that side. It doesn't give you like this glittery highlighter, it's more like a sheer highlighter and that's what I wanted. I really, really wanted something, yeah, there it is. Really, really wanted something that just looks more wet, that is not all in your face shimmery, like if I walk around I don't look like a Christmas globe or something like that yeah beautiful i fell in love with it once i saw it i was like oh yeah girl i'm already sweating so i don't really need highlighter like that yeah ladies so that was it for this haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'm gonna try to list all the products down below um if you have any questions on things how certain things work for me or didn't work for me or whatever just keep me posted and i can do like a 
haul update i guess you know and just make sure that i tell you guys exactly after i've been using the stuff how this stuff worked for me if i would repurchase it and stuff like that just let me know in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course for any future videos that i have coming up and i will talk to you guys soon